from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hi there, everyone. My name is Betsy Peterson, and I'm the director of the American Folklife Center here at the Library of Congress. And on behalf of the staff, I want to uh, welcome you all today and also want to say Viva Mexico on Mexican Independence Day. Um, this is one of, the, one of the concerts in our ongoing homegrown concert series. And in fact, for 2015, we're getting towards the end of it. Um, as we come down to the end of the, the fiscal year here. But the Homegrown Concert Series um, allows us to do a couple of things. One, it allows us to work with a network of folk arts coordinators, cultural organizations throughout the country to identify the very best and most important traditional musicians and dancers um, throughout the country to come back here and perform for you all um, it's also an opportunity for us to record this music. It becomes part of our archive, um, and it also eventually makes its way up onto the internet um, as a webcast. It will in a couple of months, but that allows us to share this far beyond this stage um, with people around the world and for generations to come. So with that said, let me just ask you, if you have any electronic devices um, right now, please turn them off. Uh, we would appreciate it greatly. I also want to say that in addition to working with n a network of organizations around the country, we also work with organizations here in town and, and have partners today for this program. And in fact, this program is brought to you in partnership with the Millennium Stage at the Kennedy Center. And in fact, you will be able to hear uh, the performers today, Sonas de Mexico, uh, tonight, again, from six to seven at the Kennedy Center. So please go on over and hear them. And now, finally, I want to introduce um, the performers from today. Sonos, Sones de Mexico Ensemble is a folk musical group that specializes in Mexican son, a musical genre encompassing the roots of mariachi music and other Mexican regional styles, including Huapango, Gustos, Chilenas, Son Jarocho, and many others. The ensemble was formed in Chicago in 1994 and soon incorporated into a nonprofit organization to keep the tradition of Mexican song alive in its many regional forms and in many educational programs for K through 12 and beyond. As performers and recording artists, members of the ensemble have developed and popularized many original arrangements of Mexican traditional tunes. The group's original work um, includes all sorts of experimental and cross-cultural um, projects with symphonic, Irish, Chinese, folk, blues, country and western jazz, and rock musicians. Yesterday, the American Folklife Center hosted a lecture by Juan Diaz, the producer and CEO of Sonas de Mexico, on the corrido, which is a Mexican ballad tradition that narrates tragic tales based on true events um, featuring the, the activities and exploits of heroes and outlaws. After the lecture uh, yesterday, 19 authors and students of the Corrido worked together with Juan Diaz here at the library and worked with the um, newly um, appointed poet laureate Juan Felipe Herrera to write their own original Corrido. And actually, today, you will be able to hear that newly minted corrido um, for its, actually, its second performance. It was performed last night during the Poet Laureate's um, poetry reading. So before I bring the group out, I just want to extend a special thanks to the Poetry and Literature Center here at the library for 
for working with us and, and working with the Poet Laureate to come and participate in this. And I also want to um, extend a special thanks to the Library of Congress, Hispanic C Cultural Society, for support of the workshop and support of today's concert. And so, happy Mexican Independence Day, and please welcome Sones de Mexico.
Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. We are the group Sones de Mexico Ensemble. Sagbe uh, Pichardo on the Huapanguera, a baritone guitar from the Huasteca region. Juan Rivera on the violin. Eric Hines on the drums. Gonzalo Cordova on the guitar. Lorena Iñiguez on the Jarana Huasteca. Uh, my name is Juan Diaz, and this is a, a bass, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, we just heard some music from the Huasteca region of Mexico. Uh, Sones de Mexico gets its name, uh, Sones, uh, from an old Spanish word uh, derived from the Latin word sound. Sonus, Sones. So when we speak of sones, we have to qualify where it comes from. So you say the sound of la Huasteca, the Huasteca region of Mexico would be a son huasteco. The sound of a uh, guerrero would be son guerrerense, and so on and so forth. So Sones de Mexico is a group that specializes in the regional styles of many parts of Mexico. And we are going to take you on a little tour, uh, to give you a little smorgasbord of uh, Mexican flavors today. Um, we started with music from the Huasteca region. The song was called La Huasanga. And we're going to follow with another song from the same region with a little different tempo. The song is called La Presumida, which means the conceited woman. <laughs> and we're going to feature Lorena uh, doing a little foot tapping. She actually likes to, to challenge our fiddle player to a little mano a mano, little duo. So we'll see, we'll see who comes out victorious in the end. Place your bets. <laughs>
Right now, we'd like to take you to the state of Chiapas, on the border with uh, Guatemala, uh, also uh, a part of Mexico that has uh, heavily influenced by its Mayan roots. And uh, we brought this beautiful instrument, the marimba. It's a wooden xylophone. Uh, Sakbe and Eric will be leading on this on this one. This is uh, properly called Chiapas name of the song. This is what it sounds like.
Sagwe Pichardo and Eric Hines on the marimba. Another one of our favorite instruments is uh, the harp. As you can see, in order to be in this band, you have to play many instruments. And uh, Sagbe is now uh, going to be playing the Veracruz harp. One of the nicknames for people and things from Veracruz is Jarocho. So the son from this part of Mexico, we call son Jarocho, son Jarocho. We're going to play uh, a song, uh, uh, popular song from Veracruz called La Bruja, the witch. Uy. As we are approaching the fall season and uh, the day of the witches, <laughs> we'll share this song with you, La Bruja. <laughs> Lorena Iñiguez.
We're going to take you now to the state of, uh, of Chiapas. Once again, the Tzotzil culture uh, uh, has uh, a tradition or a series of songs uh, for the mayordomías. And uh, these are uh, uh, spiritual songs. The song we'll uh, perform for you now is called Bolomchon, which means the way of the jaguar. And we're going to feature this great guitar that we have here. Uh, it's a 12 string steel string guitar with a, with a beautiful sound. Okay, so this is Bolonchon. On this uh, trip to Washington, D.C., uh, we had uh, the good fortune of meeting up with, uh, with the U.S. Uh, Poet Laureate that was just inducted last night, uh, uh, Juan Felipe Herrera. And uh, he gave a speech uh, right here on this very stage, uh, accepting this, uh, this new uh, post as our Poet Laureate. Earlier in the day, uh, we had arranged 
to give a workshop here at the Library of Congress on uh, songwriting, where we taught a group of 20 people uh, how to write a Mexican corrido. Corridos are tragic ballads. And uh, it's something of interest that's been of interest of mine for about 25 years. And uh, I've been teaching it in the schools. I have a workshop where we teach people, children and adults, how to write corridos. Uh, this year, we received a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts to travel around the country and uh, follow our, our touring schedule and try to, to teach these workshops. But we were fortunate yesterday that one of our students in the workshop was Juan Felipe Herrera. And uh, together with uh, the rest of the group, we composed a new song yesterday uh, and would like to perform that for you. Uh, it's a tragic ballad and the subject that, we, that the group uh, selected was um, the incident with uh, Sandra Bland and uh, who committed, uh, allegedly committed suicide in prison after an incident of uh, police violence. So this is the corrido of Sandra Bland. <laughs> Sandra Bland se llamaba, dicen que se suicidó. El 10 de julio en Texas un policía la arrestó. Por no señalar la vuelta a la cárcel la llevó. Sabio a la policía. Brian, Brian era hombre soberbio, un oficial prepotente. De Sandra Bland abusó, ahora lo sabe la gente. Sandra sabía los peligros de la discriminación y decía que Black Lives Matter, esa fue su perdición. Cuando Brian dijo a Sandra que su cigarro apagara, Ella le dijo que no, porque en su derecho estaba. Brian bastante molesto dijo su cara sacó. Con violencia y empujones a la fuerza la arrestó. Estuvo presa tres días, no se supo qué pasó. Con una bolsa de nylon, dicen que sola se ahorcó. Tengan esto muy presente, la violencia seguirá. Aunque se grabe en video, eso no te salvará. Vuela, vuela, palomita, this isn't our last stand. Aquí se acaban los versos de la grande Sandra Bland.
We will, after the workshop, we got a little uh, visitor from the Copyright Office uh, here from the Library of Congress encouraging us to copyright our new composition. And we will be doing that with, uh, with 20 people listed as authors for this song. So that's great. Well, we were not planning on doing this. Some of the music uh, that we play does have spiritual consequences. <laughs> and it seems that a, a little devil has just uh, approached us. There is a, a tradition in, uh, in Guerrero for the Danza de Diablitos. Little Devil's Dance, and uh, I, I got this harmonica while I was there, and I hear that if we can play it well, we might get our, our, our little demon to, uh, to go away. We also have a donkey jaw and a quija. <laughs> Well, I think it worked. <laughs> and now we'll take you to the state of Michoacán. In the, in the plains of Michoacán, there runs a long river called the Tepalcatepec River. And people call that all hell area the Tierra Caliente, the hot lands of Mexico. There is a song that we'd like to play that is played with a violin. The guitar that Gonzalo's holding is called a vihuela. It's a five-string uh, round back guitar. Sagbe is holding a little drum called a tamborita. It's a double-headed uh, drum. And it's played with a, with a drumstick and a mallet that has a, a uh, oh, which he doesn't have right now. OK, but in normal circumstances, there would be a, a, a mallet with a, with a leather leather head on it. Okay. 
All right, let's all, all please imagine that's what he's holding, okay? The song is called La Rabia, which means rage, passionate rage. Yes. <laughs> Juan Rivera on the violin, Sagüe Pichardo 
on the tamborita. And now we bring back uh, Lorena Iñiguez now on drums and uh, Eric Hines on the marimba. We're gonna play another song from Chiapas. <laughs> this is called Feria Chiapaneca. Thank you. 
Once again, Sagüe Pichardo and Eric Hines on the marimba. Well, uh, I don't know if it was mentioned earlier today, but uh, today is a proud day in Mexican calendar. It's a Mexican Independence Day we're celebrating uh, today. Yes, Viva Mexico! It's like Mexico's birthday today, yes. Well, uh, Sones de Mexico honors Mexico by playing some of its best in unrecognized uh, folk songs and music from different parts of Mexico, but we're not exclusively uh, doing Mexican music. Some of our greatest hits have not been for Mexico. We, we played in, uh, during the immigration reform marches in Chicago. Uh, we marched with uh, a lot of friends uh, to the Millennium Park, to Grant Park, to ask for immigration reform. And one of the songs that kept resonating in my head, uh, among with all the immigrants that were marching there, was an American folk song uh, written by Woody Guthrie in 1940. It's, this land is your land. This land is my land. Uh, and we began to chant that song. And slowly, the song became, started singing it in Spanish. And then we set it to a Norteño beat. Uh, later that year, we decided to record the song and put it on our album. It became the title track of our album, Esta Tierra Es Tuya. And um, this album went on and, uh, to, to be nominated for two Grammys that year. So thank you, Woody Guthrie. <laughs> We'd like to play that song for you. It's called Esta Tierra Es Tuya. It is a... Para todos los inmigrantes que se sienten lejos de su tierra, ahí les va esta canción.
This land was made for you and me. One more time. This land is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, we're coming to the end of our concert today. We have one more song to pl play for you. Uh, but before, I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank for this invitation to come to for the uh, American Folklife Center for bringing us here and uh, recording us for posterity. Um, I also want to invite you to keep in touch with us. Uh, we have a, a website at sonesdemexico.com. We have um, uh, a Facebook page, also under Sones de Mexico. And we have some music available today. If you're interested, uh, you can come see us after the show. Uh, once again, I want to introduce the members of the band. Sagbe uh, uh, Pichardo on the harp. Juan Rivera on the Requinto Jarocho. Eric Hines on drums. Gonzalo Cordova on the guitar. Lorena Iñiguez on the jarana. My name is Juan Diaz on the bass. We'd like to finish today. Also, would like to invite you or, or your friends who, did, who are able to make it to this concert. We are playing a concert later tonight at 6 o'clock at the Kennedy Center at the Millennium Stage. And uh, we're playing a completely different set, so it'll be more, more music if you're interested in. Um, we're going to play a conga. This is a Cuban rhythm that is uh, taken root in Mexico, and it's sung this one in particular at the end of the year for New Year's. Uh, it's called Conga del Viejo, and uh, that means uh, the Viejo refers to the to the to the old year, the outgoing year. So it's a New Year song, Conga del Viejo. Hey.
Okay, let's get you to do a little singing here today. You can uh, repeat after me. Ready? Una limosna para este pobre viejo. Let's all do it together now with a band. Ready? This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.